Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool slow frame rate effect in Final Cut Pro 10. As you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like. Now, if you've previously used um, Premiere Pro and now you're switching to Final Cut, I believe Premiere Pro has an effect called like posterized time, where you can achieve this effect um, in Premiere Pro by just adjusting um, the frame rate. But however, if you switch from Premiere Pro to Final Cut and you've kind of gone through Final Cut Pro settings, you realize there's no place um, to posterize time. So you're kind of thinking to yourself, okay, how in the world do you um, create the effect? And that's exactly what I was thinking. I had no idea um, how to create this effect until I stumbled upon a really cool plugin um, from Ryan Nagel. So I'll go ahead and put the download link in the description below. I spent about five dollars um, on this plugin. So of course you can make you can you know make the judgment whether or not um, you want to download this plugin. It's very much like a stylistic choice. So it's definitely not going to be used in every video, but it can definitely be a really cool stylistic um, effect. So what you want to do is you want to just go to the download link, put the, I'll put the link down there, go ahead and just download the plugin, and then you want to go ahead and place the plugin inside your effects panel um, right there, and that's pretty much all you're doing, you're just going to put it into um, the effects panel right here, so you can see frame rate effect right there, so literally frame rate effect, and that's you want to place it, you want to just place the plugin um, inside your effects panel. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the clip right here. I'll just go ahead and just delete the effect right here. So this is what the clip looks like without the frame rate effect. It just looks like a normal clip shot, like 24 frames per second or maybe or maybe it's slow I'm not 100% sure what the original clip um, was shot at, but this is just like a normal um, clip right there. Nothing is happening to it. But if I head over to the panel right here, go to frame rate effect right here, and apply the frame rate effect onto the clip right here. As you can see, now if I play it right here, this is what it looks like. It creates a really cool kind of stutter, um, low frame rate effect. So you can see right here, here is basically where you adjust the settings. So right now it's going every five frames. So if I go ahead and zoom in right here, I'll go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four. As you can see right here, it's moving like every five um, frames. So if I go ahead and play it right here, that's what it look like, uh, looks like. Let's say I want to cr increase it all the way to 10. Let's go ahead and just see what that looks like right there. That looks a little bit better. Now it's starting to look a little bit closer because it's 24 frames per second timeline. But there you go. Now that's starting to look um, a lot better right there. Now if I go ahead, let's say I crank it all the way down to 3 right there. The default setting is 5, but let's say I crank it all the way down to 3. As you can see, there we go. It's a a lot slower. The lower the, the lower the number is, the slower it's going to go. The higher the number is, the faster it's going to go. So basically, you're just going to go ahead and just mess with it um, until you know you get the look um, that you want. But that's pretty much it. That's this really cool frame rate effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Um, the plugin is from Ryan Nagel. I'll put the link to the download in the description below. It does cost about five dollars um, to buy this plugin, but I think it's definitely worth it because there's no other way to do this in Final Cut Pro 10 without you know going to Premiere Pro and getting posted time and there's a whole bunch of other um, effects you could probably put on with this I may make a future video um, with you know more effects um, by, by using this effect you, like a, a different effects you can combine I tried to combine like the comic book effect um, right there that's what it looks like right there you go ahead and just apply a whole bunch of different effects like I said before I may make future videos um, kind of basically you trying to figure out how to use this effect with other effects um, and that's basically it Download the link in the description down below. Make sure you put it in the effects panel um, right there. And then all you want to do is head over here to the effects and then scroll all the way down until you hit frame rate effect um, right there. And then you just apply it on your clip and you just adjust the settings how slow or how fast you want. It's a really cool uh, different look. And again, like I said before, if you don't have if you had Premiere Pro and you realize that Final Cut doesn't have post dries time, this is basically how to fix the problem. It's definitely a really cool effect. Definitely go ahead and give your honest feedback or honest thoughts um, in the comments down below. You know, what do you think of this effect? Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern to Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 220 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. See you in the next one. Peace.